Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Outies. In this video, I will show you how to find Ethernet password on Windows 10. So this is actually pretty easy and very fast one. So let's start our video. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to locate your Wi-Fi connection. So your Wi-Fi connection is actually located at the bottom right of your screen. That's where the Wi-Fi signal is usually located. So just right click on it. And from here, you want to go to open network and internet settings. Under this settings, you want to scroll down until you see the section that says network and sharing center. So go ahead and press on that. It's going to open up our control panel here that's under network and sharing center. And from here, you want to click on your Wi-Fi connection that's just underneath the connections option here and just click on it. From here, you'll see the wireless properties. So if you you aren't able to see the wireless properties button here, you might be using your LAN. So you might want to actually switch over to your Wi-Fi real quickly if you want to view this. And once you've done that, you want uh, if this is actually available to you, just click on the wireless properties button here. And from here, you want to go to security. So under security, you just want to click on the show characters. You want to add a check on the checkbox there. And from there, you should be able to see your Wi-Fi password or your Ethernet password on Windows 10. So that's basically it. So if you're wondering if you could actually change your password in this UI here. So unfortunately, that is not possible. So if you want to change your password for your internet you might want to have to go to the admin website of your ethernet so it actually actually depends on the model you have so for example for tp link you could actually go to 192.168.0.1 and that would actually redirect you to the admin website here and you just need to enter your password and log in and from there you should be able to see a few setting settings to actually change your password but if you're not sure of that you could actually contact their support to get assistance on this so hopefully this video was able to help you and thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful you could use the link in the description to subscribe see you in the next video